All right, so in today's Roblox Bedwars video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best kits to buy in Season 6. I'm also not including the Battle Pass kits because not everybody has access to those. I'm talking about the 399 Robux kits. Yeah, and I feel like this list will be, like, valid for a very long time. So even in, like, um, next season, if you don't have money for the Battle Pass, you can just buy one of these kits. Well, let's try to get 200 likes on this video, and please subscribe because I'm trying to get 14k subs. First kit is Elder Tree. Elder Tree is really good because you can get a lot of health really quickly. If you have 500 health in like a solos game or even ranked, you've basically won. Unless they have emerald armor, of course. But yeah, Elder Tree, yeah, this is a valid kit. I'll show you what it does. Basically, you can go around the map and collecting all these orbs and you can see I get a health boost every single time, which is pretty good. I'm pretty sure there's a hacker in this game and yeah, I'll show you, I'll show myself beating this hacker with the Elder Tree kit because this kit is so good. The only downside to this kit is um, crossbows. If someone has a crossbow and is crossbow spamming you, you're most likely not going to win. Except if you also have a crossbow and good aim. And yeah, if you're knowing like this guy, you can just snowball spam because you have no PvP skills. Or you see a big fat elder tree coming at you. Which is, yeah, pretty scary. And yeah, as you can see, I have like almost 300 health. So that's like 200 health more than everybody else. And yeah, this is the hacker. And yeah, you can beat him easily even though he has kill aura and no name tag. You can beat him easily because you have Elder Tree. And I didn't even go down to 100 health, which is also another crazy thing. In this game, the hacker, he lagged the server. But I ended up winning because he was also lagging. I mean, a bit weird, but yeah, it is what it is. Next kid I want to show you guys is um, Grim Reaper. Which is a really good kid in general for any game mode. So yeah, but uh, firstly, the thing I want to say about this is... You basically get 26 health as soon as you consume the soul. Which is like, insane, because then you can like PvP other people, and you are invincible for like, a few seconds. Yeah, what I'm saying is this kid is a good kid in general. See, if I kill this guy over here, I can, like, break his bed. And if I get low, I can just consume the soul. And yeah, I'm invincible. And also, I get a speed boost. And yeah, I get a health boost, too. So yeah, it's a pretty good kid in general. Even if this guy breaks my bed, he still has no chance. So yeah, pretty good kid. It also gives um, a height boost. So you're, like, a little bit taller. Which gives you some sort of an advantage in PvP, I hear. I don't know if it's actually true, but a lot of people will tell you that. So yeah, good kit. Next is Evelyn, which if you get two hits on somebody, it's basically a free uh, win. Because every time you PvP them, you get extra health. And yeah, they can get one extra hit on you. And then yeah, it's basically really good if you're not that good at PvP. You have to kill this guy right here get his bed but yeah you see him in his fight yeah i could just consume that and then yeah i get a speed boost a health boost and yeah it's basically a really good kid in general another thing is it doesn't even have to be sword hits you can just bow spam and yeah get it and then they can die like that or they can stay up and yeah you can get a teleport to them they basically can kill them easier Also, in this clip, the only reason I keep on winning against this guy is because of Evelyn. Even though he's also Evelyn, and that was kind of a weird encounter right there because I'm lagging. But, uh, the uh, bad thing about this kid is a cooldown. It does have a cooldown. Yeah, bro, I'm really laggy in this clip. But, uh, that's yeah, fine, I guess. Where is he? Yeah, and then I just barely won that. No. Then he wait up here. Then I drop down on him. Yeah, and then just fight him. And then yeah, third party right here. Bro, third party Uzis, yeah, they're uh, really annoying. But yeah, don't buy Uzi unless you want to play duels 24-7 because otherwise it's not a really good kit. Alright, honorable mentions. Number one, Hannah kit. This kit is really good if the enemy's low when they're at 20 health. You can just execute them and uh, it's a free kill. Next is Lassie. This is also a pretty good kit because you can lasso somebody and disable their pearls. 
And yeah, if you lasso them into the void, it's basically a free kill. Some people will tell you that it's a bad kit, but yeah, just don't listen to them. I know it's better. Yeah, they're just probably not good with it. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And yeah, maybe watch one of these videos.